Ladies and gentlemen, this is Joe's Classic Video Games back with another really cool arcade game video for you this evening. This is Tato's Mania Challenge. Not to be confused with Matt Mania or Tag Team Wrestling, which were basically the same games. But, <laughs> but here you go. Mania Challenge. In America, this was put out by Mimitron, which uh, made the kit and I guess the hardware for it. It never gets old, people. We've had this on for days. Days now. Listening to it. This game, they never made a dedicated version of any of these. Uh, these little cheapo wrestling games from the 80s. So, all of them you get will be in a kit. So, they're in, a, they're in the wrong cabinet. Or, you know, they, they just put the kit in another cabinet. And I have got to say... They did a damn fine job on this kit. Whoever put this in, they did a really good job. This is an old Sega style cabinet. It's not a Frogger, but it's something similar. So it would have been like a, a head-on or something like that. It was it was uh, one of Sega's, you know, less known cabinets. We thought for a while it was a carnival, but it's not. Um, it's a, I don't know what it was, but it's not a Frogger and it wasn't a carnival. But, uh... All of the stuff that made it whatever it was in its previous life are long gone, and now it is this wonderful mania challenge. They did a really good job. They put red uh, laminate on the sides to make it, you know, match the artwork of the uh, the mania challenge stuff, and it's all in really good shape. Just a really clean kit. They put nice black T molding on it. Um, they, they did a pretty good job on the control panel. The only thing on it that they that they couldn't do a great job with was they had to cut the bezel so the, where it said mania challenge on the bezel it has been cut off but you know really they didn't have a choice they had to put the the screen where it was so this is what they came up with of course this side is the same they did a really good job uh, attaching the laminate so it's not flake you know tearing off or anything um, they put the real plain black textured control panel overlay on it but that worked pretty good since they had all of the little artwork overlays and stuff basic technique object to pin opponent or throw out of ring for 20 seconds join in after any match so first of all they made tag team wrestling which isn't exactly the same game and it's not quite as um, advanced as this one it doesn't quite look as good so that was their first one. And then they made Matt Mania. And Matt Mania, I believe, was just a one-player game. You couldn't play two-player. And then they made Mania Challenge. Now, we're filming this in April. It's shortly after WrestleMania. So they were ripping off the Mania from WrestleMania, I'm sure. And Hulkamania, you know. But this was uh, this was their third one. Now, you can, if you get a Matt Mania board or you get a tag team wrestling board, you can just plug it right into this cabinet. They have their own unique uh, pin out this these uh, these games, and they they are interchangeable. So I have heard that on this game you can do a drop kick. Yes, folks, a drop kick, and that is the main difference. And you can also play two players at one time. <laughs> It never gets old. This was a. Uh, this has a Nanio monitor in it. Old school Japanese monitor from like 1980 that was in the Sega game. All right, so let's look over the artwork a little bit. Mania Challenge. You can see all these people at ringside. That guy's been a drinking. This guy's the scourge of the blood. She's not. This guy. That might be illegal. What he's doing. I believe that might be Scary Sherry. There's Grandma. Have you ever seen the clip of Grandma fighting Hollywood Hulk Hogan with her with her crutch? It's pretty good. You ought to look that up. <laughs> yeah, I think that's my favorite right there. All right, so you've got two buttons. And by the way, you can join in after any match. They want you to know that. 
You've got two buttons, an action punch button and an action kick button. So here are the basic moves, people. Basically, this is how you move. I can't get my camera back there. Let me zoom you to it. Look at that. Basic moves. So if you just hit the punch button, you punch. If you just hit the kick button, you kick. Now it looks like they may have installed the buttons backwards on the control panel. We'll just ignore that. Okay, if you if you hit punch, you get a you do a headlock if you do it when the opponent is groggy. If you hit kick and punch, you dash at the opponent. But there are other moves available, people. After you dash at the opponent by hitting both buttons, if you hit back and punch, you do a drop kick. Now you would think that you would hit back and kick to do a drop kick, but you would be wrong about that. You hit back and punch. Right? Okay. And they would do a flying body press or a plunger, which I've never heard of. You hit kick while you're hitting back after dashing at the opponent. Or you hit back and punch and you do a shoulder attack. Or if you hit forward and kick, you do a lariat. Mm, kind of weird. Okay, and then to do a knee drop, see this line over here is things that you can do after going up to the corner post. So you get up on top of the corner post and you hit punch, you'll do a knee drop. And if you hit kick, you'll do a sunset flip. There he is. Do the sunset flip. Nope, he tried to do the knee drop. So this is what a champion looks like, people. He kind of has a has a Von Erich look to him, doesn't he? So anyway, I think this is a really nice kit. Somebody's gonna love this. These old school wrestling games are awesome. So what I'll do is I'll set up the tripod and we'll play through it a little bit. You can see what 19, I believe this came out in 1987. You can see what 1987 looked like. The TWF people. Oh, he dropped, he jump kicked him and fell out of the ring. All right, we're gonna play it a little bit. If I can get a credit on it. You versus computer. Push one P. Let's do that. I'm Dynamite Tommy versus the Insane Warrior. Who he does, he, he kind of looks like, uh... <laughs> Come on now, Insane Warrior. He knew that wasn't going to work. <laughs> oh no! Mm. Oh no! Oh no, not out of the ring! Oh. That was lucky. Mm. Oh, pal driver! Now what? Mm. You got me, folks. Let me put another credit on. This can't stand.
Let's try that again, insane warrior. Oh, now what? I thought I had him. I thought I had him. He's too close to the ropes. Doesn't that suck when you jump out of the ring accidentally? Mmm. Man, he's good with that. That back slap. Get off me, bro. <laughs> I tried to do the backdrop thing. There we go. A little suplex. There's no real health meter. Should have probably already pinned him. All right, we're gonna try it again. side. Man, he's like taking me to the cleaners. clinic showing me how to get beat, but I'm not showing who the second guy is yet. Let's try one more time. I gotta at least win one match. Come on. Come on now. <laughs> he got out of the way. That was smart. He knew I was going coming with that drop kick. Very smart. He gets out of the way every time. If you can get in from the side. Mm. 
Mm. What is the guy don't play around, man? <laughs> oh no! Oh no! <laughs> it threw me out of the ring again. That's very, very creative. Good work. Mast, uh, whatever your name is. Mast warrior. Man. Well, there you go, folks. That's how to lose your quarter in Mania Challenge. Very tough game, at least for me. I even tried to do the special moves. There's a little uh, sticker right here that tells them to you. But oh well, it was not to be. Now by the time you see this video of Mania Challenge, Mania Challenge may have lariated over to someone else's game room. We may not even have it available for sale anymore. But that's all right. You can see all the games that we do have available for, for sale on our website. Go to lionsarcade.com to check out a current list. Now, you can also come by and see us. We're in downtown Rock Hill, South Carolina. We've got a building here full of arcade games. You can come check them out. Now, if you're not local, so you can't come by, and you don't want to buy one off of uh, checking out what's on the website, that's fine. Just subscribe to us here on YouTube, and every time we get in something a little different like this, we'll film a video of it for you so you can remember the glory days. Give us a thumbs up for taking the time to shoot the video for you, even though I didn't beat the first freaking guy. And leave your comments below about how incredibly hard this game is to make me feel better. So if you, if you used to play it back in the day, let us know where you used to play it in the comments below. And we will see you on the next video. Mania Challenge.